This is a live look at the outside of the Austin City Hall. And there's a crowd out there. A rally is going to begin in, begin pretty soon. And they want the City Council to pass an agenda item that allows homelessness and behaviors like sitting, lying down, and camping in public spaces. Those issues will be taken up later tonight. Our Rebecca Trejo was at the council meeting today and has more on what they got to so far and some controversial measures that passed. So far Thursday, Austin City Council voted to repeal tax exemptions for some multi-million dollar homes on Lake Austin. That this isn't about demonizing anyone, but it's about fixing a status quo that has been uh, that has been broken for a long time. Hundreds of homes have not had to pay city property taxes because of an old ordinance that exempted them. I think right now we have a brilliant opportunity to realign our city's understanding of equity by ensuring that this additional revenue <coughs> from property owners who have been lucky, frankly, for a century will benefit communities and residents who have not been so lucky. However, those homeowners say police and response times to their homes are slow, even costing lives. On December 25th in 2011, my family had a 9-11 call. And because of confusion between the city and the county, the um, appropriate ambulance was not sent out and my son was in cardiac arrest and he did not survive. Another controversial topic was the popular Butler Pitch and Putt golf course. The Kinzer family owned it for 70 years, but because of a signature omission on bidding paperwork, they were left out of the bidding process. The Kinzer bid would have been considered if not for one missing signature. Council voted to award the contract to Pecan Grove Golf Partners instead. I'm not going to be wasting my, my taxpayer money on trying to rebuild this whole thing. Rebecca Trejo, KVU News. And this is just in. Austin City Council also, also voted to create a new homeless shelter in South Austin off Ben White.